Hello friends and welcome back to Study Tonight. In this video, we'll talk about Linux operating system and why it's so popular. If you're a beginner and if you are, you know, starting your journey with coding or programming, you must have heard about the Linux operating system. It's, you know, just another operating system which doesn't have a graphic user interface, hence less popular amongst beginners. But trust me, it's one of the most widely used operating system when it comes to the developer community. Now in this video, we'll touch upon a few points why it's so popular and you know why you should also consider learning it. Now Linux is a bare minimum operating system which utilizes a lot less resources of the hardware or the machine on which it runs. And that gives a lot of extra resources for you, know, you to install more services and run more softwares on the machine on which Linux is running. And that is the reason it is a number one choice when it comes to uh, cloud hosting servers. Now with the onset of this cloud age when where everything you know is available on cloud, AWS, Azure, Google cloud services and so many other services coming into picture and every other enterprise software moving on to cloud, Linux has become more popular because a maximum number of servers that are running in the cloud are running Linux operating system or some other flavor of Linux operating system. When I say some other flavor, so Linux is a basic operating system and there are many other operating systems which are built on top of Linux because Linux is free open source software. Hence, a lot of other companies, developers have built more operating system on top of Linux, improving it, giving it some sort of, you know, small, simple graphic user interface as well to make it more usable for uh, beginner developers like Ubuntu. So Ubuntu is a very good example. It runs on Linux operating system, but it has a basic GUI as well for you to, you know, easily uh, uh, operate on Linux. Similarly, even Mac OS is built on top of Linux because Linux is a very, you know, strong and stable and secure operating system. And hence, you know, Mac OS is also again one of the, you know, it's said that it's one of the most uh, secure operating system as well. Less viruses, less crash and all that stuff. Apple is still maintaining it and it will keep on maintaining it. DevOps is another major factor that are making beginners and even, you know, intermediate uh, experienced developers to start learning Linux because DevOps requires you to have an understanding of Linux operating system because most of the things that a DevOps guy do is on the server and most of the server, as I said, on cloud are based on Linux. Now you should not worry about how you will learn Linux because I have talked to a lot of beginners and all of them have one common problem that there is no interface for me to interact with and everything is command based. Now, once you start using the Linux operating system, it becomes easier and easier. You can start with basic commands related to how to move around in folders, how to create new folders, how to create files, how to read files, how to use the various editors in a Linux operating system to edit files because there is no user interface. So most of the things that you do is, you know, uh, moving around files, installing services, changing configuration, uploading your code, maybe editing it, using Git over there. So these things are the most used things on uh, when it comes to Linux operating system. So uh, there is a certain set of commands. If you learn those, it will be very easier for you to start working with Linux. I'll share these commands in the next video, in the follow-up video. I'll definitely share a few uh, go-to commands that you can start with to you know uh, start learning Linux. I mentioned about stability and security. So because there is such a large developer community who has accepted Linux operating system as the go-to operating system. So uh, the entire developer community was working towards uh, fixing and finding bugs into Linux operating system and that has made it so secure and so less uh, vulnerabilities or issues are there in Linux operating system because the operating system was open source and a lot of super developers with masterminds worked on creating it such a secure and stable operating system. In the recent days, Linux operating system is also becoming more popular because of IoT. So if I talk about small devices which have very less resources like Raspberry Pi or day-to-day uh, -day appliances like an AC or uh, any other uh, intelligent or smart device, now they don't have the RAM or the resources that are required to run say a Windows operating system. Now Linux because of its size and because it uses so less resource, it can be easily installed on such devices as well. 
and hence again one more area one more modern area where linux has proven very useful and hence more uh, utility of linux is increasing and that is because iot is becoming so and so popular these days apart from all these it's a very good to have skill if you are a back end developer say you are working with python or java or any other programming language in which you are creating back end services or any you know uh, uh, software that is running entirely on the back end now you can obviously test it on your windows machine as well but most of these software or the services that you create are eventually going to run on a server and that server will be a linux server so if you have knowledge of linux it will be very easy for you to test the software or whatever application you are writing on an actual machine or a machine which is very similar to the actual machine and that is a very good to have skill so one more point to support linux if you want to become a back end developer it's not necessary you should have knowledge of linux but it's a very good to have knowledge on the other hand if you want to become a front end developer a cool without uh, knowing linux as well so these were the four five points to explain you why linux is becoming so much popular these days and if you're a beginner and you're hearing a lot about linux i hope this video clears out some doubts that were there in your head in the next video as i said i will be sharing a few commands a set of 10 15 commands or 20 commands to get you started with linux and uh, till then stay safe uh, do subscribe to the stack trends youtube channel follow us on instagram we share cool reels on instagram and give this video a thumbs up and do share it with your friends see you next time